Good morning, everybody. This is Brenda. How are you all doing today? Okay, as you can see on my desk here, I am creating these little collage snippet pads that um, I was inspired to do on Twisted Paper Studio. And I think these are the cutest little pads to add into pockets or tucks or whatever. This one's a little bigger, but um, I still think it will fit. Uh, to me, you can make these any size, anyhow, um, you know, any way. And I am going to show you how I put mine together. Loving these. So what basically what you would do is the recipient would take these and use the little pieces as collage uh, papers on their uh, master boards or whatever they're making. So I'm going to set these aside and I'm going to, uh, I have my paper, my, my desk is covered, covered with snips, snips of paper. So I have what I'm calling bases, which I like that one. So I'm going to lay out some bases because as you well know, this will make an excellent uh, mass make, sorry. My, my um, thinking is just so, you know, scattered. Um, as you well know, um, hubby is having heart issues and um, I have been trying to watch him like a hawk and it just makes me <sighs> scatterbrained, I feel. So let's do one about this size. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna lay out some bases. That's my bases. Then I'm going to choose um, maybe like some pretty paper will go there. I want some, these are just uh, pieces of my uh, wipe off paper. Love them. So a piece there. And let's see, I have, I want the spots on here to show. So I'll go this way and I'll lay a piece there. And I got all these pieces of paper came from my um, huge box of uh, collage paper. And we'll lay a piece there, okay? And like I said, you can do this any old way you choose. Uh, I love the dictionary page. I'm gonna add some dictionary page. And one here. And I just want maybe a thinner one to go here. Okay. And I like these little, these are just pieces of um, little invoices that I like. So I'm going to, let's see, let's put this one I hate to cover up the writing, so sometimes I'll put it on um, sideways, which is totally fine because it um, is used for collage anyway, so you don't really have to worry about. Um, this is a beautiful piece of uh, old, old paper. I love that. And let's see, I want one more. And I'll put this one sideways also, right over here. Now maybe I want something else. And I try to use different colors of paper. So maybe Maybe 
Maybe on this one, I will use some of this. We like to have different sizes for our collage. And then I will put this on right here. I try to have at least five pieces. Six would be fine also. Um, let's see what I got here. Oh, got some of this. This would be cool. Um, 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 let's put some of this on here. Right at the back. Then what I have. And then we'll we'll have this on the top. Just move that over to the side a little bit. And maybe some of this could hang out here. Sorry guys, as you know, it is so hot in my craft room. Okay, so, and maybe we'll just put this right here. That'll fit there nice. And one more over here. I'm just gonna fold this one right over. Well, I don't wanna cover up the cat, so let me cut it. This is um, a piece of um, I think I'll put that below. So I will be covering up the cat, but whoever gets it will be able to use it. Okay, and then I have these little just snips of paper that are longer, and I'm using these. I am folding right in half, and I just pulled these right out of my uh, box, and I am going to staple the one side just to hold it for me I'm going to cut the one end even it out and then I am going to grab a piece of fabric if you want to add some fabric And that's why I wait and not to staple the other side until I add the fabric, like so. And then for this one, we want to get a piece of, whew, hot, a piece of this. And then we want to add this right to the top, like so. And I'm going to staple the one end. Cut off. grab a piece of fabric. You can have the one or you could add another piece if you would like. Just throw a little two pieces on here and staple that one. And that one is almost done. We're not done yet. 
So we have this one here, just straightening up the uh, papers. And let's put a piece of this on. And I'm just gonna fold this right in half. It's It goes very quick if you have your um, your strips all down into different sizes. It helps a lot to um, make your process go a little faster. Now this side over here, I know, is not going to be attached yet, so I'm just going to cut this and find a piece of fabric. Uh, let's go with, whoops, this piece here. I like the um, pink and the red together. Staple that down and go on to the next. What do we got here? We've got four pieces here. No, we got five. I got five. Sorry. I'm going to move this over. Attach this. And let's use, let's use a pink one. Do we have a pink one that's... Just got uh, too much brown going on the top here. I was just wondering if I had a pink, a pink one. I guess I don't have one handy. All right. Phew. I was just looking for one of these with some writing on it. But I guess we could just... use oh I got so much here I don't know if I want to use that no I don't want that on top could have sworn maybe I just used all my pink ones up okay no biggie we can use pink even though it doesn't have um, the writing on it I'm just gonna go ahead and use it okay and then we want to fold this right in half. And I will put it on this side. Staple the one. Cut off the excess. find a pretty piece of fabric. I think this time I will go with some of this and maybe got another piece of this here. Somewhere I do. There we go. I'll just cut this down. and snip oh no <laughs> oh no <laughs> i'm out of staples uh, excuse me just a minute Okay, a little tiny attacher ran out, so now I'm uh, using, <laughs> I used a big staple in that one, which is fine. Okay, so now we have our little, uh, whoops, I don't need that. Okay, now what I wanted to do is just add a little bit of decoration on the front. And as you can see, what I did, I think this one is my favorite one here. What I did was add just a little piece of um, 
uh, pretty paper and then added a little stamp and I you know I purposely put the red for that and I loved that little stamp right there so when when you're doing your papers uh, like pay attention to things if you like it uh, the numbers going down the number 35 and then um, I try to put things like that um, in the front where we can see it and I'm going to set this aside and try to find something like this is a little piece of you can either use this side which is ledger or this side I think I like the ledger side and I'm just going to stick that down maybe Maybe I'll stick it right here. I think I'll stick it right there and I'm only gonna stick half of it on. So I'm using art glitter glue for that. And I'm just going to put glue on the top half. And stick that about right in the middle like so and it's just as crooked as can be but that's all right because it's just a little um, piece of usable paper and I'm going to go for I've got my thing of stamps here and I'm going to use this little green one because it sort of goes with my theme I like to go with a theme uh, you know like a color scheme or whatever's going on at the time and put my little stamp on there we go and for this one um, I think I will. This has got brown on one side and some colored stamps on this side. So I think I will put that right there on the front. I wish I had something with some, some more blue, but I think I can fix that with the stamp. So I am just going to glue this piece down right along the side here. I think I'm looking either that or my paper's crooked. And I am going to Let's see, what if I go like this? Oh, I like that. So I'm going to add two stamps here. You could even, you know, don't have to be stamps. You could e even add like a, I thought I had some. I've got these little paper butterflies here you could also do something like that it kind of blends in with that so I wouldn't use that but I do have another one that probably still will blend in yeah it blends in too much so I'm gonna go back to my stamp because that's what I liked A pair of blue stamps And put that right about here. You guys, Monday I finally get to my doctor. Finally going to hopefully have some relief from finding out maybe what this is and... But, oh, yeah, I meant to tell you, my husband, he's having the heart issues. He, they can't do anything, and it's driving me insane. 
they can't do anything until he's on blood thinners for a month. So we, I'm on pins and needles, of course. Um, this is just a little, I think I'm going to half glue that right there. It's just a little uh, piece of vellum, patterned vellum, and I'm just going to glue that right about there for a little decoration. I like that. And then on this one, we can basically do this or this side. I think I like this side better. And I'm going to put it right there. See, I'm just using whatever's on my desk. I mean, <laughs> Granted, I have a lot on my desk. But when you're doing something like this, it's nice to have some choices, be able to make some choices. So I like that. And I think for that one, I could, I mean, you could like just put a flower in the middle like so. That's kind of cute, actually. So, maybe I'll glue that down. I mean, there's so many things that you can do. So, I'm going to glue that down in the middle, or maybe down here. Maybe right here. And then I need to find just a little, um, I've got these little flowers, but I think those would be too big. I just want a little something to go in the middle. So I've got these little tiny flowers that I think I will glue right in the middle. Like so. going on there, but I'm going to snip that off, and it goes this way, and there you go. So, that is what I've been doing today. We created this one. And this one could use a little something else. Maybe, I don't know. Nah, I like it like that. Um, maybe even, I don't know if I would even put a stamp on that one. Let's see what it would look like. Just, I'm just curious, that's all. A little stamp right up here. Yep, I do like that. Just to give it a little bit more oomph is all I'm after. Doesn't have to be a stamp. Could have been a little something different, but I liked that and it's on my desk. There we go. So we did this one. You also could put something along there to cover up your um, staples, but Staples, they don't bother me. We did this one. And we did this one with a little flip in the front. The little grab onto in the front. Probably would want to put something else there. Don't know what. Could be a little flower up there that doesn't look bad. I mean, if you want to go deeper into the decoration. Totally up to you.
and then I would find something else to put, uh, you know, to add to the middle. Ah, let's see, which could be one of these little tiny flowers, or it could be a button. I thought I had some buttons handy, but I don't see any, so I will just throw on one of these little flowers for now. But a button would be cute too. If you so happen to have a button on your desk. And I chose, I chose the brown one because the brown is in the background for that one. And there you go. You have, well, yeah, I'd probably get rid of these little whatchamacallit. So there you go. We have made four just like that. And what did I do with the other ones? Got those we made together and these I made ahead of time. There you go, guys. That is what I have been working on today. A little snippet, uh, collage snippet uh, pads to put in pockets, put in tucks. That is what I've been playing with. So you guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. As you noticed, I'm sorry, but I have to make my videos a little less, um, you know, a little uh, less time until things get situated here at home. But I wanted to come on, say hi, show you what I've been doing, and wish you a blessed weekend. So you guys have, um, stay safe, stay healthy and blessed, and I will see you next time. Thank you all for the comments and the subscriptions, and have a fun weekend crafting. Bye-bye.